Well, I'm really excited for our guys. I thought we had a really good game plan, really good preparation throughout the week. Talked to, to our guys about getting better um, over the last few weeks, and I really feel like we are getting better after going through a little bit of a rut. Uh, appreciate the way the guys come to practice every day. Um, our preparation Monday through Thursday gives us an opportunity to be successful on Saturday, and that was the challenge we had to them before T Texas Tech uh, and had some success, and it kind of carried over to today. Thutter guys played with a lot of confidence, a lot of belief uh, that um, they knew what TCU was going to do. And we just had to go out and play with great technique and execute and um, had some really good performances uh, individually. Obviously, Felix is uh, an unbelievable performance, uh, but had collectively a really good team effort. We were able to rush the football for some success. We were able to throw the ball with some success. I thought our defense played really well. Um, we were able to rush the passer. Uh, we were able to play good coverage and we were able to uh, somewhat control the rush game. This is a really good offensive team and, and uh, we knew they were going to get some plays. And I think the, the critical plays that we hadn't been making on defense, we, we were making today, whether it's a couple of fourth down stops or even the one stop that made them kick the field goal on the, on their first drive when it, uh, it ended up being seven, three, but uh, the fourth, fourth down stops are critical and Guys are excited. They're celebrating uh, a big homecoming victory. It was fun to win at home in front of a great crowd. The crowd was fabulous as, as usual. Uh, can't thank the fans enough for coming out and supporting our guys. And uh, we're going to enjoy it today. And we got to go back to work on Monday. Chris, from your vantage point, just how is Felix being so productive right now? You know, he's just relentless. Uh, he's a, a terrific pass rusher. He lets the game come to him. Uh, he doesn't just rush the passer. He lets the game come to him. If it's a run play, he's playing it like a run, and, and then he counters and gets up upfield. And some of those sacks are off a three-man rush, so you can credit some of it to some coverages that we were playing that the quarterbacks had to hold it. And then other times he's just, um, you know, he gets speed. He's got explosiveness. He's strong. Um, he works his craft, and, and it was fun to see it uh, come to, fru to fruition. Now, having – Bronson Massey back helped us as well because then he could get a few snaps off and he was fresh. What, what did you say to Felix after this one? Uh, we celebrated with him in the, in the locker room. He got one of our hammer awards and uh, the guys were razzing him, but they were having a great time with him. How could you not be excited for the kid? I think he's, you know, you set all sorts of records today and, um, and every one of them was a critical play in, in a tight ball game. And so I, I'm so happy for him and so happy that, you know, our, our guys are happy for him because Felix, Felix earns it. He, he works his tail off every day in practice. Felix aside, how good was the defense? Uh, really pleased, uh, Fitz, that we're improving on defense. And I, I could see that over the last couple of weeks that we're improving. Uh, our corners are playing much better right now. Uh, I think we're, we're battling on 50-50 balls. Um, you know, we're, we're playing good zone coverage at times, playing good man coverage. Our safeties are, are complementing that. Um, you know, we've been good up front. We've been good at linebacker and our secondary play improving is really, is really been the key for us in the last few weeks. And so I'm hoping they continue to build off it. Uh, and, uh, when you have success the last two weeks, like they've had, especially that second half, uh, last week in the full game, they've got to have confidence. Skyler's numbers weren't quite as gaudy today, but. Uh, how good has he been since coming back? He's been really good. Uh, and I, I think TCU did some really good things. Uh, from a coverage standpoint, and they got really good pass rushers too. And, and he threw for 242 yards. I mean, he's making some big time plays at, at critical situations. He had a couple of, of really good um, rushes in the first half on scrambles where he was able to pick up first downs, where we were able to move the chains and um, keep drives alive. And, and uh, really pleased with the output that uh, we did offensively. And, and obviously, Sky's playing at a high level. One more for me. The, um... You mentioned confidence being contagious and maybe adding to winning. Did you sense the confidence of your team coming into this? Yeah, I really did. Belief and confidence are, are a tough combination to beat. And, and when you believe your brother's going to get his job done and you have confidence in the game plan and you have confidence in what you've watched and, and belief and confidence go hand in hand. And uh, I know when you, when you win a football game, like we did last week uh, and late, that really uh, helps uh, have that belief and confidence, but throughout the last two weeks, just the way we've practiced um, we've got great leadership out there on uh, both sides of the ball. And, and uh, I, I hope it's contagious because uh, our kids are having fun and, and you, you have a locker room like we've had the last two weeks. That's a lot of fun. Felix breaks two K state records and ties an FBS record. Can he 
even improve on this as well? I mean, being such a young player. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you're going to have the stats like that, but uh, um, you know, I'm sure that there's things that he can continue to improve on and get better at, but um, you know, you have that special day. That's, that's pretty, it's pretty awesome that uh, uh, it happened today. It happened at home. It happened on homecoming. And then Deuce Vaughn had, I, I thought, you know, a quiet, but really good productive game. Just talk about his day. Yeah, he really did. Uh, we, we thought we had a play dialed up. Uh, with him down the seam out of the backfield we used it in that first drive to get us a big big uh, big play to get us down to the four when Skyler scored the next play uh, he popped the fourth down run I think we got him maybe misaligned and he got a big run there and then he still gains those tough yards you know he has 116 uh, rushing yards on 20 carries but he gained some tough yards against a really good defense uh, uh, the, the one big play though to get us to 14 to three midway through the second quarter was huge for us Chris, I know you never want to see a, a skirmish break out in a game like you had there today, but how did you think your team handled that and what was your vantage point? Well, for the most part, I thought we handled it well. I didn't see it. I saw the original flag being thrown when they hit Skyler late, um, and and then I kind of just went back to talk to Mess and, and Colin about what the next play was, and then all of a sudden I see something going on on the other sideline. Uh, I credit our guys. I credit our strength staff and and our support staff for keeping our guys on the on on the sideline and not rushing over. That would have been an ugly scene. It was it was already, uh, I, from what I understand, not a great scene. I didn't see anything because it was away from us. Um, you know, I don't know what happened to Tyrone. Uh, I know he got kicked out, and and uh, um, you know he'll learn from that. Uh, but I don't know what happened. I, I I just don't know. I just you hate to see that stuff, obviously. What was your general blocking scheme on Deuce's run on that fourth down play? Uh, it was just a zone scheme that um, we had worked on uh, and, and had success against him last year. Um, and uh, he just you know found a little crease and bounced it outside. And, and because it was a fourth and one, they had everybody up there in kind of a zero coverage and they didn't have a safety back there. And so uh, we were able to pop a big run. And you had it to do other the, otherwise uh, the play call from the one that turned into the safety. You know, I was our, I was talking to the defense. I didn't even see the play call. I didn't see the play. I was kind of we we're going through something because they had just gotten a big drive against us on defense. And so we were kind of going through some adjustments there. Um, probably not great by the head coach then because I didn't even see the play. I don't know what happened. Next thing I know, uh, we're kicking off or punting after a safety. Did suffer an injury in pregame? No. Uh, what did you think of Ross Elder's play today? Um, we made some changes in the in the back end, and and Ross and J Mac flipped spots, um, and uh, we were going to play all four guys. I thought Ross did some good things. I thought Sincere Mason did some really good things. It was good to see Sincere come back and uh, and play a, a really good role for us this uh, this game because he's a good football player that uh, uh, is new to our program, but uh, I'm excited about. Coach, TCU was 100% uh, success rate in the red zone coming into the game, and you guys found a way to uh, neutralize that. Kind of how did you uh, get that job done? Well, a couple of great plays by individual effort and collectively on the first and goal, second and goal, third and goal, and then they throw it on fourth and goal at the one. Um, that was big. And then, uh, you know, they run the jet sweep against us, and I thought Daniel Green made a huge play to, to limit them to a field goal. And then, you know, we make, I don't know where, if it was truly in the red zone or not, where we get the strip and the fumble and Nick Allen makes a big recovery. The, those are the guys that, that are so fun to have make, you know, Nick Allen makes a big fumble recovery. Nick Allen's the backup to Daniel Green. Daniel Green's either gassed or, or something, or he's out. So Nick Allen comes up and makes a big play. That's when you're having success as a football team is when the role players uh, are, are playing substantial snaps and making critical key plays and it keeps everybody involved. So uh, I was really pleased with the, the red zone defense. And then Daniel obviously had the long catch uh, for a touchdown today. Um, how important is he to this offense? Well, he's he's really critical uh, because he's a big play threat, and um, we'd kind of waited on that play. We hit the same play with Briley Moore last year at their place, and it got down to maybe like the three or four yard line. And and I appreciate Mess kind of holding it off. He was I knew he was going to call it at some point. I saw him run it enough during the week, and they were coming downhill so fast at us, especially when we were showing jet action uh, that uh, Daniel was able to arc out of there and get past the safety and. And Daniel makes a catch in the open field. That's a big guy rumbling, and and uh, he did a great job of of keeping people away. We we did some good blocks downfield. That was a, a huge touchdown at that time to to get it to twenty eight to five. 
see Joe Irvin today, what would you say his status is? Just um, didn't f- didn't feel good um, prior to the game. He was with us at the hotel last night and then had, uh, I think, a little bit of a virus or something, nothing major, um, and uh, just didn't think he could go. But nothing, he'll be back next week for sure. I don't think we saw Malik or Phillip finish the game. Was that just – Yeah, I got to learn what happened to those two guys. I know that, that uh, the trainer said uh, – um, that they were questionable to come back. And so we kind of held them off a little bit as best we could because we were trying to run the football and we were up a little bit. So I don't know the significance or severity of either of those guys' injuries. Coach, were you prepared to see Chandler Morris out there today? And how do you feel like your defense uh, handled that? Yeah, I wasn't uh, anticipating seeing Chandler Morris out there. I'm a huge Max Duggan uh, fan. I think the kid's a great competitor. And, and I know he was banged up, but uh, – um, he's, he's just like sky. He's a winner. Um, and I know he was trying to give him everything he, he could, and I don't know if something happened and, and he got hurt, but, uh, uh, obviously Chandler came in and, and did some really good things. He's a really good athlete, uh, made some nice throws and, um, you know, we, we, I don't think their offense changed though. Chris, like the two catches that, uh, that Daniel's had this year for touchdowns, I think I, I did the numbers. The average is 70.5 yards per catch. Is that – It's pretty good. Kind of like, it, it, is, it is quite good. Um, and I guess is that something that he shows in practice or is that just kind of an ironic thing that has worked out they've been both long plays? No, it's something he shows in practice. He's an explosive player and um, we, you know – People usually know where he's at, but I think they had to make some plays and try to come downhill and try to stop the run. I think just it was a really good call by Mess at the time, and uh, Daniel got behind people. And then he's a really, really good athlete that catches ball and runs really well in space. And um, you know, benef- he was a benefactor of those two big plays. I know you mentioned you didn't you didn't actually see anything with the skirmish itself, but have you had a chance to talk to Tyrone just about his? I have not because they I think they took he and the two TCU kids in the locker room, so I, I have not. We'll 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 address it. I mean, Ty, Tyrone, if he's protecting uh, his teammates and stuff, um, something we'll learn from. But man, I, I mean, I, I don't know what happened, and so I, I don't really want to comment on it when I don't know. And this is the first time we saw Chris Tennant this season at all. Uh, was this just? That he beat Tayton this week? Or a little a little bit of both. Um, Tayton uh, has struggled a little bit with uh, a lower extremity injury that's not severe. I mean, not not that he's out, but he's just struggled a little bit with, with trying to get healthy. And Chris continues to get better. And um, it was an opportunity for us to, to give Chris a, a chance. I think Tayton's a wonderful kicker. And uh, I, I think Chris is going to be a great kicker. But we wanted to give him an opportunity. So the guys, the older guys rallied behind Chris. I just had a silly question. Do you have any Halloween plans after this? Uh, nope. <laughs> nothing, nothing. I don't, nope. What time is it? Eight o'clock yet? Time for, I don't know. that have earned national awards and accolades. What do you see in, in, in Felix in that, in that realm as far as having the mental maturity to be able to handle, handle that? Yeah, mistake? stay humble, stay hungry. He's a real humble kid, uh, great upbringing. Um, you know, he, he's surrounded by really good people in our locker room. He's surrounded by good friends. He hangs out with the right, you know, he, this is going to be pretty cool. And I'm sure he's going to get a lot of media attention on this deal um, as well. He should, but I, I don't worry about uh, Felix is going to come back on Monday, ready to go to work and ready to get better. All right, good deal. Thanks. Thanks. Bet. Thanks guys.